This is just a gorgeous full pattern of brood right there. She's a good queen. This is the queen that we're going to hopefully replicate her, her genetics. That's the, that's the goal. Alright, today is April 10th. Um, <clears throat> The frame of eggs have been in this particular hive for four days, four and a half days. I would like to have created a cell starter box yesterday to give the 24 hours of being queenless, but the temperature last night got below freezing. So therefore, we're going to do the cell starter now, and I'm going to wait a couple of hours and then put the, uh, the bar of cell punched eggs in there. This is the starter cell. I have a frame of honey here. Actually, I have uh, one frame and a partial frame of honey. And I'll put a frame of pollen in here. I have in here, you see, a uh, container of water with a sponge on it. We will uh, commence breaking this particular hive down and dumping a bunch of bees in the uh, cell starter box. I'm wanting to get young bees for the cell starter hive. Younger bees should be in these bottom three boxes here. The idea with the cell starter box is to put a lot, a lot of young bees in there. Now I'm not having to look for the queen because I have placed the queen in the bottom box and there's a queen excluder here. I placed, I placed the queen on a, that was on a frame next to the frame that I want her to lay eggs in that I'm going to use today, this afternoon, for uh, the cell punching to get some one to two day old larvae. Yeah. I am still going to use this excluder for our project. Our eggs should be on this one. Let's go ahead and pull. You see most of the bees are over here. Most likely the queen is somewhere in this area and not in this area. And that's why I'm going to pick up this one. It'll kind of give me some working room. I think this is the frame that's got my eggs on it, or larva. No, nope, this is not it. Oh, yes, it is it. Okay, now, I can't shake these because it might do damage to the eggs. So I have a, damp, a warm, damp cloth that I'm going to um, cover this with. Now the, the warm, damp cloth is to make sure that they don't dry out and that they don't get cold. So now I'm just going to take it in into the working room and then I'll come back and close this one up. Okay. They are wanting to get close to this this uh, young larva. I mean that's that's their nature is to Protect it and, and to nurture it. There. Okay, now let's put this baby back together. And, uh, and, and so this would be what you would call a queen right cell finisher. Okay. 
Wouldn't that excluder need to go back on there? Do what now? Did you want the excluder to go I did. On? Great. She Good probably, job, Jacob. Thanks, thanks Jacob. <laughs> she probably climbed right up in there now. Gee whiz. Now I wonder if I need to go in there and find her. Foundation, empty foundations they put right here. And if they get busy, they can work those out. Otherwise, I'm going to, I will take them out when I'm ready to put myself in. Well, now let's go see if we can find some one and two day old larvae. Here are the queen cups that I have made. I've put them under this wet cloth and you can see that they are punches. Open the, uh, the box and then place them in there. It's been about four hours since I built this box and there should be Be plenty of queenlessness in there. Not sure what that. Oh, that was funny. And then let's just close it off here. So it's 4:30 on the 10th. And so, about 4.30 on the 11th, Monday, we will move these back into the finisher hive. The starter hive is over here on the left, and the finisher hive is uh, this, this one right here. It's got five medium boxes on it. You can see here that it's uh, still pretty active. Did find the queen in there, made sure that she was still in the uh, bottom box, have a queen excluder. So tomorrow about 4.30, our bar, queen bars, will go into probably the third box up. To give me a little bit of space between where the queen is. and sting me, are you?